Oud, Wikipedia article audio. The Oud is a short neck lute type, pear-shaped stringed instrument with 11 or 13 strings grouped in 5 or 6 courses, commonly used in Arabian, Syrian, Lebanese, Iraqi, Persian, Greek, Armenian, Turkish, Azerbaijani, North African, Somali and Middle Eastern music. Names and Etymology History Types Notes In the first centuries of Arabian civilization, the Oud had four courses only, tuned in successive fourths. These were called the Bam, then came the Mathn, the Mathlath, and the Zr. A fifth string, called A with Macron D, was sometimes added for theoretical purposes, generally to complement the double octave. In pre-Islamic Arabia and Mesopotamia, Oud for instance, used to consist of three strings only, with a small musical box and a long neck without any keys. But during the Islamic era the musical box was enlarged, another string was added, and the keys bass was added. Historical sources indicate that Ziryab has added a fifth string to the oud. The modern tuning preserves the ancient succession of fourths, with adjunctions which may be tuned differently following regional or personal preferences. The first mention of an actual fifth string is by 11th century musician, singer, and author Abelison Muhammad ibn Alison ibn Ayan in his compendium on music A with Macron W al Fun W A Salwat al Mazn. The first known complete description of the D and its construction is found in the Epistle Risla F L Lun W A N Nagam by 9th century philosopher of the Arabs Yaqb ibn Isk al Kind. Kind S description stands thus. Length will be, 36 joint fingers with good thick fingers and the total will amount to 3 ashbur. And its width, 15 fingers. And its depth 7 and a half fingers. And the measurement of the width of the bridge with the remainder behind, 6 fingers. Remains the length of the strings. 30 fingers and on these strings take place the division and the partition, because it is the sounding length. This is why the width must be 15 fingers as it is the half of this length. Similarly for the depth, 7 fingers and a half and this is the half of the width and the quarter of the length. And the neck must be one third of the length and it is, 10 fingers. Remains the vibrating body. 20 fingers. And that the back be well rounded and its thinning towards the neck, as if it had been a round body drawn with a compass which was cut in two in order to extract two ds. The first description of the modern oud is by Ibn Ayan. It is very similar to the construction of modern lutes, and to the construction of western lutes. The modern oud might stem from the barbet, which, in turn, stems from the Indian lute type VNA with Macron, although we have it on record that lute instruments were used by cavemen. The oud, as a fundamental difference with the western lute, has no frets and a smaller neck. It is the direct ancestor of the European lute. The oldest surviving oud is thought to be in Brussels, at the Museum of Musical Instruments. The Arabic, literally denotes a thin piece of wood similar to the shape of a straw. It may refer to the wooden plectrum traditionally used for playing the oud, to the thin strips of wood used for the back, or to the wooden soundboard that distinguished it from similar instruments with skin-faced bodies. Henry George Farmer considers the similitude between Aldi and Alada. Oud means from wood and stick in Arabic. Multiple theories have been proposed for the origin of the Arabic name. A music scholar by the name of Eckhard Neubauer, suggested that Oud may be an Arabic borrowing from the Persian word Ardi or Ardi, which meant string. 
Another researcher, archaeomusicologist Richard J. Dumrill, suggests that Rud came from the Sanskrit Rudra and transferred to Arabic through a Semitic language. However, another theory according to Semitic language scholars, is that the Arabic word Ud was an adoption, variation, and corruption of the ancient Syriac word Ud A, which means wooden stick and burning wood. Names for the instrument in different languages include Arabic, D or Ud D, Ud, plural, Ad, Armenian, Syriac, D, Greek, Omicron Tau Iota Audi, Hebrew, UD, Persian, Barbat, Error, text has italic markup, Azari, UD, and Somali, Qud or Kaban. Likely origin isn't proven origin, however, and there is a history of short lutes in the Near East, Mesopotamia, dating as far back as 5,000 years ago in the Fertile Crescent. Archaeologists have found evidence of oud-like instruments in the Mesopotamian city of Ur dating back to more than 4,000 years ago. The Mesopotamian lute arrived in Egypt and was already widespread there around 1,700 BC. Archaeology suggests that the Egyptians developed an early short-neck lute. The Near Eastern lute would go through many developments in the Hellenistic period. One theory is that the oud originated from the Persian instrument called a barbut or barbud, a lute indicated by Marcel Dubois to be of likely Central Asian origin, with the earliest depictions found dating back to the 1st century BC. By 1,700 years ago, the Persians had an instrument called the barbut a two-stringed lute the barbut that was an important instrument of the Arab Ghassanids in pre-Islamic times. The highly influential organologist Kurt Sachs distinguished between the long-necked lute and the short-necked variety, both referred to chordophones with a neck as distinguished from harps and psalteries. Smith and others argue the long-necked variety should not be called lute at all because it existed for at least a millennium before the appearance of the short-necked instrument that eventually evolved into what is now known the lute. The long-necked variety also was never called a lute before the 20th century. Musicologist Richard Dumrill today uses the word to discuss instruments that existed millennia before the term lute was coined. Dumril documented more than 3,000 years of iconographic evidence for the lutes in Mesopotamia, in his book The Archaeomusicology of the Ancient Near East. According to Dumril, the lute family included instruments in Mesopotamia prior to 3000 BC. He points to a cylinder seal as evidence. Dating from c. 3100 BC or earlier the seal depicts on one side what is thought to be a woman playing a stick lute. Like sax, Dumril saw length as distinguishing lutes, dividing the Mesopotamian lutes into a long variety and a short. His book does not cover the shorter instruments that became the European lute, beyond showing examples of shorter lutes in the ancient world. He focuses on the longer lutes of Mesopotamia, various types of necked chordophones that developed throughout ancient world, Greek, Egyptian, Iranian, Hittite, Roman, Bulgar, Turkic, Indian, Chinese, Armenian slash Cilician cultures. He names among the long lutes, the Pandura and the Tanbur. The line of short lutes was further developed to the east of Mesopotamia, in Bactria and Gandhara, into a short, almond-shaped lute. According to Ablib al-Mufal ibn Salma, who himself refers to Hishm ibn Alkul, the oud was invented by Lamech, the descendant of Adam and Cain. Another hypothetical attribution says that its inventor was Mani. Ibn Ayan adds two possible mythical origins, the first involves the devil, who would have lured the people of David into exchanging their instruments with the Oud. 
he writes himself that this version is not credible. The second version attributes, as in many other cultures influenced by Greek philosophy, the invention of the Oud to philosophers. However, there are no historical corroborations for any of these assertions. The oldest pictorial record of a short-necked lute type VNA with Macron around the 1st to 3rd centuries AD. The site of origin of the Oud seems to be India or Central Asia. The ancestor of the Oud, the Barbat was in use in pre-Islamic Persia. Since the Safavid period, and perhaps because of the name shift from Barbat to Oud, the instrument gradually lost favor with musicians. The Turkic peoples had a similar instrument called the Kapuz. This instrument was thought to have magical powers and was brought to wars and used in military bands. This is noted in the Gokturk monument inscriptions. The military band was later used by other Turkic states' armies and later by Europeans. However, in both Turkey and Iran, as well as in Arabian countries, the main short-necked lute in use today is the oud. The oud has a particularly long tradition in Iraq, where a saying goes that in its music lies the country's soul. It lies at the core of the music of modern Egypt and other Arabian countries. A 9th century Baghdad jurist praised the healing powers of the instrument, and the 19th century writer Muhammad Shihab al-Din related that it places the temperament in equilibrium and calms and revives hearts. Following the invasion of Iraq and the overthrow of the Ba'athist regime in 2003, however, the increasing fervor of Islamic militants who consider secular music to be haram forced many Oud players and teachers into hiding or exile. The Turkic peoples had a similar instrument called the Kapuz. This instrument was thought to have magical powers and was brought to wars and used in military bands. This is noted in the Gokturk monument inscriptions. The military band was later used by other Turkic states' armies and later by Europeans. However, in Arab countries, and in both Turkey and Iran, the main short-necked lute in use today is the oud. The oud has a particularly long tradition in Iraq, where a saying goes that in its music lies the country's soul. It lies at the core of the music of modern Egypt and other Arabian countries. A 9th century Baghdad jurist praised the healing powers of the instrument, and the 19th century writer Muhammad Shihab al-Din related that it places the temperament in equilibrium and calms and revives hearts. Following the invasion of Iraq and the overthrow of the Ba'athist regime in 2003, however, the increasing fervor of Islamic militants who consider secular music to be haram forced many Oud players and teachers into hiding or exile. Modern-day Ouds fall into three categories, Arabian, Turkish, and Persian, the latter also being known locally as a barbat. This distinction is not based solely on geography since Turkish Uds can also be found in Greece and occasionally other parts of the Mediterranean, whereas Arabian Uds can be found in various locations all over the Arab world. The Arabian Uds, such as the Iraqi Ud, Egyptian Ud, and Syrian Ud, are normally grouped under the term Arabian Ud because of their similarities, although local differences may occur notably with the Iraqi Oud. However, all these categories are very recent, and do not do justice to the variety of Ouds made in the 19th century, and also today. Arabian Ouds are normally larger than their Turkish and Persian counterparts, producing a fuller, deeper sound, whereas the sound of the Turkish Oud is more taut and shrill not least because the Turkish Oud is usually tuned one whole step higher than the Arabian. Turkish Ouds tend to be more lightly constructed than Arabian with an unfinished sound board, lower string action and with string courses placed closer together. 
Arabian Uds have a scale length of between 61 cm and 62 cm in comparison to the 58.5 cm scale length for Turkish. There exists also a variety of electroacoustic and electric Uds. The kumbas is a Turkish instrument that started as a hybrid of the oud and the banjo.